This is Timeline on PlusOneTV.com. I'm Tyler Pollard. We're here at the Newberry Comics location here in Norwood. Uh, we're about to see Noah and the Whale perform and in store here at the brand new location. And uh, then they're going to sit down and talk to us on Timeline right after. <laughs> I'm here with Doug and Irby of the band Noah and the Whale. They're from London. Today we're going to talk about um, your timelines individually. Um, and the concept is that I want to know from each of you how music entered your lives, your earliest memory, and then we'll kind of cool. walk on through how you became the player and performer you are today. We were at school together from the age of four. Okay. And uh, I saw a, uh, a school that we watched. We were in a really boring school concert. Mm -hmm. And you know, where all these kids get up and everyone's, you know, really basic level, yeah. and you know, it, uh, the parents kind of have to sit through it for two and a half hours, and it should have been edited, but it wasn't. Then this rock band went on at the end, and there was lots of shuffling of stuff. And before it had just been like a guy with a new classical guitar, and everyone's chatting through right. it, whatever. And these like 30, you know, the oldest guys in the school that were 13, they had quite yeah. long hair. And they played, um, it's really embarrassing, they played Dire Straits, Money for Nothing. Oh, sure. And it was loud, it was. It looked really cool, and I was, you know, it's, that was that was probably the first time I was like, yeah, that's... And at that, that point, you guys were like, what, eight or I, nine? No, yeah. four. Oh, you were four? No, a bit old, we were probably five, like six. I think it was first, first... We were young, yeah, yeah. I think for me, I mean, my, our, our, um, both sides of my family are kind of musical, but my um, mum used to play as Buddy Holly and stuff. Of the, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, just to sort of dance to in the, mm -hmm. in the living room. That's kind of that's my earliest memory, I think. At one point, do you remember kind of being like, oh, I can kind of like do something that's personal with this too? I think, for, I mean, I know Charlie's the main songwriter in the band, and he, he says he just almost felt that just it just felt like the natural progression. You're playing an instrument. You feel like you need to put something out of it, you know, create something. Right. Do you, do you know, you know what I mean? It just seems like yeah, invested in it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It just yeah. becomes part, an extension of what you're doing with the instrument itself. I, I don't think you ever make a conscious decision to do it. You just kind of find yourself creating, no. and then you're like, well, this just seems natural. Let me uh, let me ask you about some of your earlier performances. Um, yes. Do you remember uh, the first performance that you did? Um, as as, as Noah in the Whale. First official gig, I think, was at, in a small pub in um, in London called Betsy Trotwood, and literally we were playing to the sound guy, my mate, and two people in the bar. I mean, literally, those but the two people in the bar liked it. But the two people in the bar the really liked it. Went that was that was the legend. It, it's just all it's all about serendipity. And if you find if someone's there who likes it, and then the buzz, the, yeah. the buzz buzz was started and the ball just started rolling. Yeah. I know that there's a big difference between how the States and Europe sees different things, but you know, you're on a, an American commercial here, um, in a couple of them actually, um, and it's kind of shifted where it's not such a bad choice anymore. Um, how do you feel about that aspect of your I delivery? Think, I think there is still that, um, I guess, low left field, lo-fi ethos whereby maybe if you put yourself in, in an advert, then maybe does it compromise your artistic credentials? Right. Does it, you know, deride the song in any way? But I, I think the truth is that we, what we're most excited about, is opening up our songs to a new audience and having people listen to our record. Yeah. And in the UK, it's not difficult to access people by radio. You know, we've been on, we've been getting playlisted across the country, and so you don't have to go in adverts because you've got an immediacy that you don't have in America with radio. And so we felt like the what best way to, or it seemed like, in the, um, or the advice we were given was. That the best way to get you know the same sort of coverage is to go via the TV advertising. I mean, the only qualification is that I do think you still have to pick what you're doing. I think it made it slightly easier that it was a hybrid car and that they're moderately you know. That's sure. So that played into it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I did a little bit. Well, I'm uh, I'm gonna wrap it up, gentlemen. Um, this has uh, been Timeline. I'm Tyler Pollard. I've been here with Doug and Irby of the band Noah and the Whale. Uh, they're finishing their U.S. tour through uh, November, and then they head home to play we're back here. England, Scot Scotland, Ireland and uh, back, here for December. back here for a nice cold December. Mm -hmm.